wars are complicated. So some wars in foreign countries are complicated. And, and, and he's new to this. But this is easy. Coming up on morning. Good morning. So. Our country is in a pretty bad place right now. Um, it's 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 disheartening. I, I can't stand it. The motive behind the white supremacist movement, the rallying of the white supremacists, is to try to maintain control of what they feel is their American right, and that is to control everything. Um, to make sure that they are continued to be established as the dominant race in America. The controlling race in America. They're rallying. They're getting support. And they're not being held accountable in the White House. Our president hasn't condemned them the way he should have. It seemed like a couple of days ago he did condemn them. But then yesterday he retracted his statement and um, it really came at those that was protesting the alt-right group. If you're a white friend of mine and you believe that me, that I should be seen as equal to all people, then you should stand up and say something, whether you are a Republican or a Democrat. We think that not talking about race will make this situation disappear. That's not how things heal. Exposure has to happen. A discussion has to happen. And the prayer for empathy needs to happen also. It's not really about people promoting hate, especially if they feel like they're being sinned against. People aren't asking you to, you know, feel what we're feeling, you know, just understand why we feel the way we feel. You know, I was put in a hospital because I was a black youth in an all-white neighborhood. Four days. They shattered my jaw, well, my cheekbone, and uh, I was in the hospital. I had to get reconstructive surgery. They had to remove the, the bone fragments from inside my cheekbone area. So, for a person like me, you can't tell me that <clears throat> um, race isn't an issue. It very much is how people perceive one race over another. It, it exists, and everybody does it. Everybody does it. You know, it's when that goes into legislation, and it goes into, um, it's being motivated, it's pushed by uh, people that are supposed to represent us. Um, I, I've been silent about Donald Trump for a long time, because I've been praying for him, hoping that he will make the right decisions. Um, uh, being impartial to uh, a group that was founded on hate and racism 
in trying to represent their best interests as well is also promoting hate. I don't use my YouTube channel to um, state my political agendas or what I believe. I, I use my YouTube channel to promote family, uh, to, to show you a little bit about my life as a single father, um, and to um, show you my sons and how proud I am of them. Soon, hopefully soon, this will be uh, a channel transitioning to uh, a family family with me possibly having a wife, you know, additional children. Well, we'll see how that goes. But until then, that's what my YouTube channel is about. But I have to speak this because this affects my family and my sons. How could the Commander-in-Chief, one second, say nothing about the groups and then go back and retract and say, you know, these are hate groups, he doesn't condone them, and then go back again to um, pacify their actions by blaming uh, the other side, the pr protesters. You got to see this, all right? <clears throat> we have here, oh, bad lighting. <clears throat> so we have here uh, a dilemma where um, Donald Trump is representing the masses. I understand that. Just like with um, Barack Obama, um, I, I, I understand why Barack Obama didn't uh, keep a, a black agenda in the White House because the truth of the matter is he's the president of America, not just black America. All right? Trump has to do the same thing, but at the same time, um, Barack Obama did speak out against racial injustice. This president hasn't done that yet. Um, doesn't think that he's going to do that, in fact. Uh, he seems to um, have this mentality that um, that he's just not going to address that because he doesn't see the importance of it. Of it. That's his prerogative, you know. But because of that, I, this is my prerogative to speak about this on my YouTube channel. My sons need to know that they are worth something, and um, even if politicians, even if the, the rule of the free world uh, don't see my sons as they equal, how other people perceive them isn't who they are. Just like Moana said, you know, know who you are. Yeah, I've been watching Moana for the past couple of days. Nonetheless, um, what's, what happened in Charlottesville, Virginia is disheartening. Um, and uh, the president th doesn't understand that his rhetoric, what he's been saying, um, has uh, allowed this to happen. It made people believe that uh, their white agenda aligned with President Trump's agenda. So they feel free to do this. Um, this isn't cool. So I'm going to continue to pray for the president, continue to pray for our country. Even pray for those um, white supremacists out there who believe that, you know, they need to promote their white agenda. And I said this before, the, the difference between white supremacy and promoting that agenda and Black Lives Matter is that um, the white supremacists believe that they are the supreme beings on the planet, they're the supreme race, and every other race is subservient to them. But Black Lives Matter is trying to promote equality between all races, not just black. It's like, so they're saying, you know, we're not saying we're important to you. We're saying we're just as important as you are. With the white supremacists are saying, we're more important than you. You guys don't matter. So, uh, so for those of you guys that want to go out there and compare the two, don't. They're two very different things.